Welcome back. Today we're going to be playing around with uh, making a case for an electric bicycle battery. Um, this is the kind of battery you might get on eBay for your e-bike. Um, it's lithium iron phosphate. It's 48 volts and they generally come packed in a heat shrink tubing, a big heat shrink tubing that's supposed to keep them safe. It doesn't do a great job of that. Um, and I had to remove the heat shrink tubing from this one to replace the BMS about a month ago. Um, when I did that I realized the new BMS had some lights on it I might want to look at, so I put a piece of clear polycarbonate that I had over the top um, as, a, as a top cover because I didn't have that heat shrink tubing anymore. And that got me thinking that maybe I could make a full-on polycarbonate case uh, for my battery for a fairly affordable amount. Um, so I went ahead and bought this piece of polycarbonate online. It's a sixteenth of an inch thick and it's supposed to be 12 by 24. Um, it's actually 11 and 3 quarters by 23 and 3 quarters, so it looks like the seller uh, makes a little bit of extra money by shorting everybody a bit. Um, not unusual when you buy this kind of stuff. Um, but So I'm going to have to make this into a tube to go around uh, my, my battery here, and then I'll end up using this piece of polycarbonate that's a quarter inch thick um, as the end caps and mounts and stuff like that. Uh, so really the only tools that I need for this, uh, there's nothing too extensive. I do have a little jigsaw here, battery powered jigsaw to well, uh, I've got a drill as well. Um, you can bend this polycarbonate cold or hot. It's better to bend it cold. Um, a sheet metal brake type press would be ideal for that. I don't have that, so I'm just going to use a vise and some pieces of wood and metal um, and try and bend the straight edges in until I get a tube out of this. And this is a tube that this battery will fit in uh, lengthwise, and then I'll make some end caps that go over the ends as well, and that'll be my, my battery case. Yeah, I don't have a brake press or anything. Uh, this is how I'm actually bending my polycarbonate. I just got some wood and some clamps and creating a straight edge. I'm going to bend along that where I've marked it until I've made my tube. Uh, it's not very complicated. Uh, it's pretty ugly, but okay, here's our completed tube. I don't have it welded together on this edge yet, but the battery does fit inside, as you can see. Um, so the next step is going to be to weld this edge together chemically uh, with this bonding agent here and we'll clamp that and then let it sit and then we'll put the end caps on. Here's our tube uh, welded together um, and clamped and we're waiting for that welding to dry. It's actually a chemically welding agent. Uh, it's a solvent basically for the polycarbonate. Uh, so when you apply it to an edge and you attach two pieces of polycarbonate together and clamp it and let it dry, it actually welds into one piece of plastic. Uh, we're going to do the same with one of the end caps and we'll probably screw We've the now got an end cap welded on for this. We've got to wait for it to dry for a while. It's going to uh, sit there and give off nasty fumes for a little bit, but that gives us everything except for a cap. Um, so our next step is going to be to take this battery and pull all this ugly stuff off of it since we have a clear box. Uh, so that maybe we'll have a nice pretty looking battery at the end of this This project. is our end cap. It's still drying, so I don't want to really touch it. Uh, but it's a quarter inch thick piece of polycarbonate that's designed to fit into the end of the box we made like a plug. And then a slightly larger piece of 16 inch polycarbonate um, that is a lip for that so that it doesn't fall all the way into the box. So it's a very simple design. Once we've got it on there, uh, we can RTV it on, we can plastic weld it on, or we can okay, tape it. Okay, we've got our battery uh, together and in the case. We've removed all the extra packaging from the battery to expose the cells because I think it's pretty. Um, and cleaned it up a little bit. And we're just waiting on the installation of the last end cap on this side. Uh, we've also put a couple slots in the body to pull these wires off of the end so that when the end plug goes in, uh, we can make it as watertight as possible. Here's our mostly completed battery box. The end cap on this side here is glued on. Uh, the end cap over here is made, um, but not glued in. I've got it taped on right now. There's some more projects I want to do with this battery. Um, when it comes time to actually permanently uh, fix it, there's a couple ways you can go. Uh, if you're confident you're not going to have to rip the battery open and you just want it to be waterproof and sealed, you can plastic weld this end cap on and then put some RTV where the holes where the wires come out. And this battery at that point will be completely waterproof. Um, 
the other option that you can do is just RTV the whole thing in. Um, it's kind of basically like you make a fake gasket around the edge of the lid and then just spooge it on there um, and then RTV these holes. And that would be easier to get off later if you wanted to do battery maintenance. Either of those should give you a waterproof uh, e-bike battery. And as I pointed out before, this polycarbonate, uh, not only is it puncture resistant, but it's flame retardant as well. Uh, so it's a really, really good choice for um, an e-bike battery case because it's some good rec protection for you. Anyway, um, that's how you make a puncture resistant flame retardant battery case for your e-bike. Uh, thanks for watching and have a good evening.